Hey guys, Mike from Fortinet Guru here. Um, sorry if I sound a little congested, but I have a head cold going on, so if I sound nasally, I apologize. Um, tonight's video is just a quick video on how to upgrade the firmware of your Forta switch. Um, as mentioned in the FortiGate firmware update, there are certain questions you want to answer. Does this new firmware fix a bug that I'm currently experiencing? Um, does this new firmware fix the security flaw that I'm currently exposed to? Does the firmware add a new feature that benefits my organization or myself as an engineer? Um, and last but not least, is the current firmware that I'm running no longer supported so I'm being forced to upgrade? I have a Forta switch 124D here. It's uh, one of Fortinet's basic access switches. Um, rudimentary, you know, not a whole lot of super great features, but it'll suffice for this video. So I have mine plugged into my home network right now, but it's not currently manageable. So step one is to make your device accessible. So I have a console cable plugged into it so I can hit it. Let's see, oh. config system interface, edit internal. So we want to set set IP to 10.100.100.199. So that is the internal subnet, and that's the IP I want to be able to hit it from. So now I can hit it. So obviously this is a factory setting switch, so it just uses the defaults. And once you log in, you're good to go. This current version is 3.3.3, which I believe, okay, it's not current. So basically what you want to do, just like the um, FortiGate, the GUI has this built-in firmware version. It'll give you the version that you're currently running as well as the update option. Now, I'm going to be upgrading from my local disk, and I need to choose the file, which is right here. And then you push OK. Um, you download your firmware from your Fortinet support account. Uh, as previously mentioned, you can only upgrade hardware that is licensed by Fortinet or has support. So. This is going to run through the update process. The switch is going to reboot. And then once it comes back up, we will be able to view and confirm the firmware version. I'm just waiting on it to come back up. Um, one cool thing, if you were running 5.2 whatever on your FortiGate, you have a very limited number of FortiGates that are actually able to manage a Forta switch, much like they do Forta APs. But with 5.4, more specifically 5.4.1, um, Every FortiGate is able to manage a Forta switch, which is very cool. Um, one of my next videos will be how to associate a switch with a FortiGate so that you can control it through that device. Um, that's when things get really fun. So, and once I get better at video editing, you guys won't have to hang out and wait for this to actually reboot. It's still down. <laughs> While we're waiting, um, as 
as mentioned before, just to go over it again, you know, you want certain questions to be answered if you're updating your Fortinet form firmware, or if you're updating your firmware firmware on any real device, actually. Um, because if it's stable and it's working, you usually want to stick with it until you have a reason to do a move. Um, you know, main things, you know, does it fix the security flaw? Does it add a new feature? Um, you know, is the current version no longer supported? Those are all crucial because if you're an enterprise, you want support. You need support. Obviously, if you're a security-minded individual, which you should be if you're using Fortinet hardware, you want to consider, you know, is my attack surface larger than it should be because of a vulnerability on the hardware? Let's see here. It's still trucking through. That's the good thing about a console cable. You can actually view it. Upgrades can get dicey if you are forced to sit back and hope for the best. Just wait on that GUI to come back. Done. System is going down now. Um, if you're dealing with remote hardware, like a remote switch in this situation, they make um, network capable console connections so that you're able to see this whenever you're not actually on site physically connected to the switch. Uh, they come in so much handy. It'll, it'll save you a whole lot of stress when you're actually able to see everything, even if it's a remote device. Little added overhead. Um, obviously, you need to IP it, and you got to make sure it's properly set up on the remote end. But once it's good, you're you're golden. So highly suggest that. Luckily for me, this particular device is sitting right next to me. So just waiting on that network link light. Network link is up. Okay, so she should be good to go. Okay, took a little bit longer than I wanted, but that's fine. So we're going to log in here, and as you can see, we are now running, we were running version 3.3.3. We're now running version 3.4.3, and this device is good to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, do not buy a Ford Switch 124D. Uh, in fact, if you're paying less than... If you're an enterprise or a medium-sized business and you're paying less than $700 for a Ford in that switch, you're buying one of the cheap ones that you probably want to avoid. But uh, that does it for how to configure or how to update your Ford switch firmware. Next video, we'll show you how to um, link the device up to a FortiGate so you can manage it from the FortiGate. Uh, that's about the only way that you'll get real feature sets out of the 124D. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and leave comments if you have any questions, or if you want to make recommendations on future videos. Um, I love to hear from the community. So uh, thank you, and have a good night.